AMD versus Nvidia has been a hot and raging topic for quite a while now, and things are getting intense with every new GPU release from both sides. While both the green and red teams are battling for the title of the best graphics card, gamers are in a win-win situation here. The more intense the rivalry, the better graphics card gamers get to enjoy. And for staying one step ahead in the competition, these powerful cards are getting reasonably priced too. In the middle of this AMD versus Nvidia GPU rivalry, rumor has it, Intel might have something cooking for the graphics chip market. Introducing the Intel DG2, the DG1 graphics successor with strikingly more firepower, which is rumored to be competing for head-to-head -head with the RTX 3070. Intel has made its mark as a chip-making goliath on the PC components market and the word on the street is, DG2 will be based on their latest XEHPG architecture. Simply put, XEHPG is promised to be the basis of plenty of competitive GPUs that is expected to arrive from Intel in the near future. If this turns out to be true, the key battle of Nvidia vs AMD, which has been going around for quite a while, will now have a new challenger on the game, and thus changing the flow of competition as well. What's more, Intel is adopting a unique GPU architecture strategy where one architecture will have a total of four microarchitectures for different users' purposes. DG2 is not just a single graphics card as it is an entire series of it. According to leaker Komachi Insaka's tweet, which is now non-existent, and deleted entries of the Intel website, DG2 will bring along a total of five possible cards in its loadout. Now from here, some of them will be kept for mobile and the notebook segment, while others will be discrete for gaming. There is a possibility that the discrete cards will come in 512EU and 384EU configuration. And if that turns out to be true, we are looking at 4096 FP32 cores, 256-bit interface, and 16GB of GDDR6 graphics memory at a maximum. This is a big step up from our blue friend here, as their GPU power will be more powerful than ever before. But not just for gaming though, we mean 42 teraflops tagged along with FP32 performance on a single GPU. The new architecture shows promising potential for data center usability. Now, this further stirs plenty of software-based gaming-oriented features such as adaptive sync and integer scaling which we get to see on the latest GPUs from AMD and Nvidia. On top of that, Intel themselves has announced that the XE microarchitecture will support hardware accelerated ray tracing for that glorifying real-time in-game details. The card hasn't arrived yet and it is hard to jump to any conclusion without proper testing and benchmarking. Still, we can make speculation based on the assumption that DG2 is targeted to be a worthy competitor of the RTX 3070. How is that you might ask? Well, 512 AU Silicon points all the fingers in that direction. Now, 3070 is a tough card to beat as per its price to performance ratio and these benchmarks from PC Gamer will give you an idea about what we are talking about. Now that we have ranted and speculated so much about performance and gaming possibilities, it all comes down to the price of the GPU. Intel needs to play it smart and adopt competitive pricing to compete for head-to-head -head with the current industry top dogs. And if you want to make a rough assumption based on the performance of DG2 compared to the current cards on the market, we can expect a price ranging somewhere between $399 to $579. Raja Koduri is on the lead and behind most of the operation of the DG2 and according to him, the high-performance GPU lineups are being prepared within this year. This is merely just a rough assumption based on the Twitter post on Intel's XE microarchitecture. Sooner or later, the new Intel card will be here and we are anticipated to see how the trend and direction of the GPU market will shift from the rivalry of AMD versus Nvidia to a three-way battle. If Intel plays their cards right, adopts a good pricing strategy, and most importantly, maintains a decent GPU stock and delivery, they might just get an upper hand on the competition. Lastly, as gaming industries are currently booming with innovations and powerful techs, the future ahead of us gamers sure do look mesmerizing. And that's pretty much it for our review of the upcoming DG2 Intel graphics. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this on your feed.